Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day out here. Today, we are in Grand Turk. The weather is wonderful. Um, let me show you all our view from our room. This is the beautiful Grand Turk. This is from our balcony. It's a lovely day outside. Somebody's already started their excursion. All right. Somebody else already leaving out too. All right, you can hear the music playing over there. We are getting ready to head down for breakfast. We're going to Emeralds this morning, and then we are going to explore Grand Turk. Come with, come with. We made it to Emeralds. Um, I've only heard good things about this place, so I'm excited to try their food. I ordered the sweet potato waffle and the shrimp and grits, and I did that because I knew my friends were gonna order something different so I could sample all their food. So it's gonna be good. I already know it's gonna be good. This is the po' boy, y'all. This is actually Keep Ryan po' boy. <laughs> we about to share that. <laughs> Looks delicious. Y'all, this one looks so good. Oh, shrimp and grits. Uh, sweet potato waffle. My cappuccino. My heart's still up in there, baby. We have successfully made it off the ship. It feels beautiful out here. Beautiful out here, y'all. So now we are going to see if we can. Well. Oh, somebody fan. Y'all, it is hot out here. It is baking. But it's beautiful out here. We're here at the Grand Turks, aka Turks and Caicos. I would definitely recommend a five stars. Five stars, y'all. And we haven't even made it to the beach yet. We're just in a pool at Margaritaville. Um, just so you know, it is free. You do not have to pay to come to the pool portion. Um, the beach is free as well, but some seats you do have to pay for depending on where you want to sit. But we're, the weather is beautiful, y'all. I'm just so thankful to be out here right now. So let us just enjoy the moment and we'll come back shortly. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I am made to be fit into a small home. You can pull me off with a single yen, and I help to keep you covered up. Think, think small. There's your hand. Think small. Tick tiny. Socks? No. Tick smaller. Tell me. Eyelashes? No. You got needles. You got thread. Then you got what? A what? A thimble? No. Think. Think though. Think. What's the next thing? A button is the answer. The harder the longer that I'm in. I am full of sticky, thick fluid. And, and I only get laid once. What am I? I forgot how rocky the water is like right off the ship in Grand Turk. The water is beautiful, but the it is so rocky over here. And my crazy tail was like, oh, I ain't gonna put on my water shoes in a bit. <sighs> Big mistake. Big mistake, y'all. This is Carnival Freedom. And our baby is right over here. Carnival Celebration. We're gonna be out here for a few more minutes and then we're going to start heading back on the ship. We have about a little over two hours left to make it back, but we'll, we're done for the day. It's been a wonderful day. Yeah. 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 If y'all can tell me what they're doing, please. Uh, so new chapters uh, taking our crews together for the first time and many more to come because they will be. Love you guys. This is um, the Red Dragon. Delicious. Originally it was a 70 to 80 minute wait, but I think we only waited about 
30 minutes at the most. So I'm thankful for that. Um, so now we're waiting for our meals and our appetizers. And everybody in here looks so beautiful in their white. Um, so we're just, you know, chatting away until our meals start coming out. This is a huge fish and it, it looks delicious. Um, I also got some um, beef. I think it's just beef and broccoli. I don't see, oh it is broccoli on there. What is that? I don't see no broccoli. It's on there though. And then I got some noodles to go right, with it. It's gonna take so. three minutes. Yum. Kiran found a duck, y'all. Yeah, I found a duck. Quack, quack. I have been on cruises quite a few times and I have never found a duck. But here comes Kiran, first cruise, and he found one. Am I jealous? Yes, I am. Y'all, Rashawn found a duck too. It is so tiny and cute. Look at that. But he found one too, y'all. And I'm so lazy, bro. Trying to sit my drink down. Yeah, it was right here in the cup holder. It's 12.30 and we are just getting back in the room. We just came from the Family Feud late night special hilarious y'all let me if you are going to play family feud okay i don't even know how to say this the sh the show that we went to see was hilarious first of all i will give it to them if your group is going and you're not the one that's next in line you need to be thinking of your answer okay don't have the host finally get to you, you the third person down, and he get to you and you gotta think about what to say. So these are the people that won the Family Feud auditions. These are the people. I can't talk, cause I'll probably get up there and jack it up myself. So I can't, I can't say nothing. They probably did good at them auditions, right? And then they came out here and, <laughs> just tore it down, tore it down. We couldn't record it just because of, we couldn't record it because of copyright. So y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't see any footage, but it was funny, y'all, it was funny. Y'all, the fast round was hor horrible, okay? It got 35 points out of the both of them. <laughs> the fast round, the first lady didn't even get, she didn't even touch a point on the board, okay? And, but they tried. Y'all, y'all, y'all tried, okay? I could give it to y'all. It was hilarious. Grand Turk, y'all, was beautiful. I think we spent like maybe 10 minutes at the beach, if that. But we were at Margaritaville the entire time. I figured that would be the best idea for us for this trip because I won't try to spend no money at every excursion. I mean, at every port, I won't try to spend no money. So I was like, well, let's just go to Margaritaville because it's free. The best decision, okay? The best decision. We had a time, we, the drinks were good. We didn't get any food because we had just ate at Emeralds before we got off the ship. But um, it was a whole vibe. The energy there was fun. It was, it was great, y'all, it was great. So I highly recommend it and it's free. It is free. The only thing you have to pay for is uh, food, beverages, souvenirs at the shops, what are all of that, all of that stuff. There were some seating areas that you could rent, but who doing that? Mm -mm, nah, we gonna find us a little chair. We were gonna, we were in the pool majority of the time, so we really won't. We really was just using the chair to just sit our stuff. The beach is free as well, so you don't have to pay 
to have access to the beach. There are some seating areas over there that do, that do cost, especially the ones with the umbrella. So keep that in mind. If you plan on coming to Grand Turk and you just wanna sit around at the port, they, there are free options for you to do that you can still get to enjoy. Like, you know, just enjoy some time without having to pay for anything. Just keep that in mind. And we went to Chebang for uh, dinner tonight and Chebang means wing in Mandarin, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Thank you. Kiran is over there being my, uh, my uh, background person. I honestly thought that it was a combination of something something Asian and something Mexican and they tried they fused it together. I had no idea it was actually a word. So there you go. Learn something new every day. Food was delicious. The food was delicious. I think outstanding. outstanding. Do you want to jump in? You want to get on? You want to sit down? Yep. I decided to bring Kiran on just because he being in the back just whispering stuff to me anyway. So I might as well just <laughs> Go ahead, add him on the list. I mean, add him on, on here for y'all. But um, we were talking about Chebang and the food was delicious. I believe I had the um, the pot stickers, the... Are you supposed to help? You're supposed to know. <laughs> you had the pot stickers. Didn't you have some type of fish? I had the pot stickers for the appetizer, mm -hmm. some nachos, yep. um, which was pretty good. I did have the fish and I had some... Um, beef and broccoli and noodles so also keep in mind that rice and noodles do not come with the dish as a side so if you order beef and broccoli that's exactly what you're gonna get beef and broccoli okay and they're not gonna tell you you have to ask okay so don't be surprised if you know just just go ahead and order the noodles and order rice i got noodles instead of rice and I did order the fish. The fish was pretty good. That was on the Mexican um, side. But by the time I got to it, I was already full. So I just had a little bit, but it was pretty good. What'd you get? Well, my appetizer, I was really greedy. Um, so I got the pot stickers. I got the lettuce wraps. I love me a good lettuce wrap. And then I got, um, what else did I get? I had a third option. Oh, uh the beet, the pork. Yeah, Some type pork, of pork. pork I really didn't like the pork. The consistency was not it for me, but uh, my friends thought they were really good. For my entree, I was greedy again. I got beef and broccoli with rice, and then I also got the pork belly. You got it Thank again? You. No, no. It was something pork. Something time. Some was, type it, of pork. was it the Kong Pao pork or something? I don't think that's it, but something similar. <laughs> with noodles. And then for dessert, I got the chocolate seas something it was that was really good um but yeah all in all i would definitely give them a 10 out of 10 the service was great as soon as you take the last bite and put your fork down somebody is coming to collect your plate so they do not play about dirty dishes or like finished dishes being on the table they will gather them really quickly but um all in all the service was great shout, shout out to cheyenne our host and what was the guy's name you do not know. I don't know okay. either. Um, but the restaurant was great. I would definitely recommend five stars. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. You did get a chance to go to the white, the white hot party. No, hot white night party. You know, white hot. It, I said it right? Yeah, I think so. White hot party. We didn't stay for too long, y'all, but we did get to enjoy it um, because we wanted to catch Family Feud. Now, my crazy tale is really, I didn't realize that when was going to get me as bad. I yeah, I was up there talking about this girl the, on the first day, like she got this short skirt on and she up there that went just showing all her panties and talking about her. Y'all, that wind took me down, y'all. I'm up there like she was Marilyn Monroe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was so modest at, like if I would have had on shorts, I would have been fine. But y'all so then I tried to put my little purse around, like tried to put it down just to give it some weight so that my skirt won't um, rise up. Mm mm, y'all. It did not help her. I mean, hey, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. <laughs> but I will say, friend, everyone looked really nice. Mm -hmm. Everyone who was dressed up in their white, the old, the young, everyone came out in their 
in their best. Everyone looked really nice. So I, I enjoy this. I enjoy the whole dressing up and the whole theme thing. So shout out to Carmen. And that's one thing I try to get prepared them for because if you have never been on a um, cruise, you're not going to know that white night is a thing. Majority of the people had on white, but there were people that didn't know about it, so they didn't have it on. Or people just choose to not wear it. Right. But if your friends are coming with you on a cruise and they have never experienced a cruise or never been on a cruise, just give them a heads up as much as much as you can. Prepare them. Because you want them to be as prepared as possible. So. I would have felt so bad. I wouldn't have felt bad, but it would have been wrong for me to come in my white and then, and then be like, yeah, they got a white night every cruise. Yeah, what I would have some type of webby. And then they would have been up here like, well, why you ain't telling me? You know, I wouldn't have did that to them. You would have told us you wouldn't have felt bad about it? Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't have felt bad. Choose but, your friends wisely. Choose your but friends. I wouldn't have done that to them. Oh, okay. That's, That's the thing. That I wouldn't have done that to them. I have, we'll talk about how good of a travel agent I am later. Because when we have this recap, I want y'all to know that I'm that girl. I will give you that. I'm that girl and I want y'all to know she that. She did her thing. Okay? She did her thing. But we'll talk about me another day. Because I'm, I'm, my head is already big yeah, at the moment. Yeah, she prepared us. But it, oh. No, what she prepared is a different story. Speaking of that, y'all. When I tell y'all how unprepared... No, that's the recap. <laughs> we gonna we gonna get on that later. I'm gonna tell you. I want I want to tell y'all how unprepared I was. This is definitely. I was definitely given. Do what I say, not as I do. Right. As if I was. If that was a person, that was me. Because when I tell y'all, I gave them a whole checklist. I reminded them to bring stuff. I didn't did this, this, and that. And I, I couldn't even put no socks in my daggone bag. I didn't pack. It's part of. But quite a few things I didn't pack, y'all. Because I already told y'all I rushed into the last minute, but we'll get on that later. Okay, we'll get on that later. Tomorrow we are going to be in Amber Cove. Yeah. We are doing an excursion there. So it's going to be a combination of ATVs, zip lining, and beach. Yes. The beach. Yes. So hopefully, y'all, I, I didn't bring my GoPro. So hopefully they let me bring my phone, um, so I can you know put it in the little. Are you gonna bring? Are you gonna bring your pool shoes tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the reason why he asked that, y'all, yeah. I had to roll, people. I had to roll my eyes on that one. <laughs> but the reason he said that is because y'all, I couldn't find my pool shoes, and I knew I brought them, but I let I unpacked everything and I didn't see them so I'm like I know I had them mm -hmm. so I he had extra so he was like I just let you use mine which mm -hmm. is so sweet thank you mm -hmm. thank you yeah did I use them at Grand Turk you want to know what I did I asked to use his to go to the bathroom I said friend take your shoes off so I can go use the bathroom friend where your shoes at that I gave you what, what were they what were they tell the people where they were in my bag in her bag Mm -hmm. what, what, what did you have on when we were there? What, did you have on any shoes? No. Oh. But he's such a good friend that he took his shoes off for me so I can go to the bathroom. But this is the kicker, y'all. This is the kicker. We go to the beach, y'all, and I didn't realize how bad, like right there, Soon as you get off the cruise port, the beach over there at Grand Turk is very rocky and very like there's a whole lot of stuff going on at the bottom of there. Yeah. It was just it just caught me off guard. So I had all my stuff. I was supposed to have put them water shoes on. Mm -mm. Here I am walking in the water. Ah, 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 ah. And this me looking at her. You know, friend, you ain't put your water you shoes put on. Your, you no. shoes it. Imagine she had her bag. I'm um, tiptoeing. Right. Okay. This is me. <laughs> this is me. Ah, ah, ah. The whole time. When he. <laughs> to sum it all up, yes, I didn't do what I was supposed to do this trip. Yeah, she did. I did not. Um. We were about to say something about Amber Cole. We'll be 
tomorrow. Right? Well, being Amber Close, so we have to wake up early and it's gonna be a grand time, okay? We're looking for... It's gonna be a grand time. Calling them in the background, y'all. But we're just gonna go ahead and call it a night. So, anything, any last words? Be prepared tomorrow. Wear the water shoes, okay? As the ticket specifically says, wear a comfortable shoe. Will I wear the water shoes tomorrow? Oh, will she not? This is a comfortable shoe or water shoes? Those are not the same thing. I mean, he has a point. He does have a point. But was anybody talking to Rashawn? <laughs> <laughs> Answer us in the comments. Not y'all. Good night. See y'all in the morning. <laughs>